Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Wow, good job on that. And I thought you didn't have the guts to do any of these things. But here you are, proving me wrong. Now that's some talent. But what I'm curious about is... Why didn't you kill them when you already had them like this? They're not useful in our mission, so why would they be here if they are not useful? I don't think we need any type of, uh... Yeah, we don't need those. Like I said, they're not helpful. And plus, we can deal with the policemen on our own. We're a lot more powerful than they are. And if they call in pro heroes, then we know when to back out. So, what I'm trying to tell you to do... ...is to kill them. What, are you shy? Here, I won't look while you do it. I see. Fine. I'll do it myself. You lack confidence in trying to kill people, and yet you call yourself a villain? Now why would you care about other people's lives when you could easily take them out? As I just did. You're not holding something against me, are you? You're not hiding anything? Hmm. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You are a first-time villain in the LOV, so... Killing people by the jump of it might be a little bit too much for you. You can take that as an apology, but I'm not going to apologize. Just because you made one mistake doesn't mean you're not going to make a lot more. But I'm going to keep my eye on you and make sure none of those mistakes happen. Do I make myself clear to you? Good. Now, walk with me. How do you like the LOV so far? Do you like it? I'm glad to hear. Although, there are a few things that I'm a little bit worried about when it comes to you. Although you do call yourself a villain, you have sympathy for those who can't help themselves. Like pro heroes, once you have them down to their hands and knees begging for their lives, you're not supposed to fall for that act. Yes, an act. They do that to get an upper hand on you, and once you show a little bit of vulnerability, they'll attack. Yes, that is what we do, 
but we do it for our own purposes, not to help others. Mm -hmm. So next time, once you have heroes like that, who are on their knees begging for their lives, don't listen to them. It only makes you weaker as a villain to listen to those who can't help themselves. Glad I got you that in your head. Now, we do have bigger plans up ahead, but we're still going to be putting you through trials and stuff so we can prove that you're actually a true villain that can be part of the LOV. So tomorrow, I'm going to put you through a test. I'm going to get a few people, a few people that you might have seen on the television a few times, or maybe even just in the streets without them even noticing you. But I'm pretty sure you know who they are, just by popularity-wise. I will get a few of those people, and you're going to prove to me that you are nothing but a cold-hearted villain. Of course, there's going to be police everywhere trying to find these people that I'm going to borrow. But if you can prove to me that you're a villain, then we'll have no problem here. Do I make myself clear with that, or do I have to explain a little bit more? What other people do you think I mean by... I'm talking about heroes. Obviously, they're going to be the more weaker kinds of heroes, but... They're heroes nonetheless. If you can prove to me that you're a villain and take them out with ease then we won't have a problem between you and I, or even a problem with the LOV. That's exactly what I'm asking you to do. Since you couldn't do it today, I figured I'd put you more of a personal test and not out in the public. Right. Well, it is getting pretty late, so I'm going to tell you to get lost, go back to your home or wherever you are, even if you have a home. If not, come back down to the LOV headquarters and you can sleep there. Well, besides being a bar as the headquarters for the LOV, there's also abandoned apartments up on top so you can just sleep in one of those I've seen a few villains come here as a hiding spot or even just a place to call home one of our other teammates who sadly passed away they made this place a home for them used one of the apartment buildings upstairs or rooms upstairs Yeah, you can use one of them. Make it your own. They're not much, but it'll be a place to live. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I did. I uh, made one of those places my home as well when I was uh, about the same age you are. First becoming a villain... Beginning abandoned by your family. The easiest place to go was here. Mm hmm. Well, then, in that case, I'll walk you back to the headquarters. Yeah, why not? It's late, and plus, I don't want you walking alone out here. You might run into a hero or something, or even a cop. They're pretty up and riled up as of right now because 
some of our plans have gotten to the heroes. I don't know how, but they're always one step ahead of us somehow. But Shigaraki has plans for that. Hopefully, he'll eradicate everyone. Well, at least everyone who knows. Right. Anyway, let's get going. You have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. <laughs>